How's it going everyone? Liam Kedison here and we're on Buffy the Vampire Slayer. This is episode number 11 of season 3 and we're at the halfway point. It it It's so surreal, like it, it only feels like yesterday since I started season 3. Um, but I guess time flies when you're watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer, so yeah. I'm sure I said something similar in terms of... Um, it only feels like yesterday since I started watching Buffy season two uh, with the last season, but point proven, isn't it? Um, this is called Gingerbread, um, where I'm expecting we're going to be facing the giant gingerbread man from Shrek 2. And if you haven't seen Shrek 2, then do it. Like, it's one of the greatest movies out there. Uh, no, but in all seriousness, um, I've got a couple of points to make uh, in a moment but last episode was pretty pretty um heartbreaking stuff in terms of the episode we had the first i think they were called uh taunting angel with his past kills and angel was contemplating um was contemplating his death uh, before buffy intervened and there was literally a christmas miracle in sunny dale with um snow falling because it was really really hot during the christmas period so the so naturally the chances of snow happening was like well you needed to win the lottery five thousand times or whatever so yeah and it snowed a christmas miracle and angels back together yay um so yeah it was pretty bleak but uh it had a very very happy christmasy ending so that was all well and good so before we do get into this episode the point i wanted to make is uh, so earlier today I was out all day with uh, the only friend I really see in life because uh, all of my other friends uh, live uh, all across the world so uh, getting to them physically is like uh, an impossibility unless we do some kind of great beat up and whatnot but yeah um, the friend uh, yeah I went to see uh, Dr. Sleep with my friend and uh, whilst I was waiting for her I had, like, there was a side of me that was saying, don't buy this, Liam. Don't buy this. Um, but I had to. I got all of them. All of them is mine. So, yeah. Um, I'm currently, um, I've currently got episode 11 ready to play on the PS4 because my new computer doesn't have a disk drive, which sucks. But, um, I'll, I'll work a way around it. I'm not so sure if this is the infamous HD version that I don't think it is judging by the ratio on the menu screen, but we'll, but we'll work a way around it if uh, it is or not. So yeah, but um, I got them all. So yeah, I just need to get the angel box set and then I'm good to go. Um, but yeah, with that said, let's Ooh, very eerie menu music. I don't like this. Uh, this is Puffy the Vampire Slate. This is season um, three, episode 11. Let's go. It's a big part of your life, and I'd like to understand it. It's, um, you know, something we could share. Actually, it's pretty dull, you know, it's... Family. You know, you take your child to work day, and you work in a very dangerous area. You know, your DIY construction, all that jazz. <laughs> She's encouraging me! I love it! Buffy, he's over here! Oh my god! Oh god. Oh no, look, don't... Oh lord... Oh my god! Okay, well this went dark real fast. Did you see them? They're so tiny. Oh. I saw. Wonder if it's gonna have Joyce put a perspective like on the confusing. Just... I'm so sorry that you had to see this, but I promise everything's gonna be okay. How? Because... When the use of a symbol on, on a victim like this suggests a, a ritual murder and a cult sacrifice by a group. Let's a group let's kick the me. let's let's break all of their teeth. Someone with a soul did this. Powerful. Okay. Powerful. And while you're looking for the meaning of that symbol thingy, could you also find a loophole in that slayers don't kill people rule? Murphy. This is a dreadful crime. Oh, we are going to get some action. Uh -huh. That's great. Uh, oh, boy. But you know what? Uh, a lot of times when we're working on stuff like this, 
we That's the like right to keep move them under to make. people that know about it kind of small. Oh, right. Well, I I'm sure there won't be all that many people. No. Not for a while. There's a rumor going around, Mr. Giles. R rumor about us? <laughs> uh, about uh, what? Oh. Uh, about witches. Uh, people calling themselves witches are responsible for this brutal crime. Oh, Indeed. this strange. is a second card for Willow. <laughs> yes, strange witches. <sighs> well, actually, not that strange. I don't sugar uh, just don't sugarcoat it at all, Willow. Among adolescents, and I was shocked at the statistical. Oh, for too long we, we've been plagued by unnatural evils. This isn't our town anymore. It belongs to the monsters and, and the witches and the slayers. Oh! Is she really throwing Buffy under the bus here? Take Sunnydale back. I say we start by finding the people who did this and making them pay. Didn't Cordelia call him a Nazi and then Xander makes that comment? Which stuff? What? They got my spells. I was supposed to report to Snyder's office. Oh my god. Oh shit. I used it to make a prediction spell for you, for your birthday, with Michael and Amy only. Now it's broken because you know about it, so happy birthday and please, you have to believe me. I don't think Willow's capable of doing evil, so... Ms. Rosenberg. I swear they're it. they aren't mine. And take your marauders with you. Oh my. Pinnabur so gets the here. wall. I suppose I should hear you out. Just how is um, blood rites and sacrifices appropriate material for a public school library? Chess club? Rap? How are you appropriate for a school at all? Oh, I should say it's just beginning. You're not paying attention. And this is your way she of trying does, to get she? it. Now, I have consulted with some of my colleagues, and they agree that this is a cry for discipline. You're grounded. Grounded? This you is the first time You can't ground the cinnamon roll. I've done something you don't like, and I'm grounded? I'm supposed to mess up. I'm a teenager, right? Right, I'm, I'm saying it. She was involved with the oh, murders. Ma, hear this. I'm a rebel. I'm having a rebellion. Well, we're gonna make some changes. I don't want oh, you hanging no. out with those friends of yours. It's clear where this little obsession came from. I don't like her. You will not speak to Bunny Summers again. Buffy! I don't not want you Bunny! To Willow anymore. I've spoken with her mother. I had no idea. Ah! Are they running out of vampires? I don't think that you run out of It's not your fault. You don't have a plan. You just react to things. It's bound to be kind of fruitless. So, okay, maybe I, don't I mean, have a plan. in her perspective, it but does make sense, And maybe next but... time that the world is getting sucked into hell, I won't be able to stop it because the anti-hell sucking book isn't on the approved reading list. Exactly. Not until you hurt them. The way they hurt us. Wait, wait, what? Liam's got no, no, I've got nothing. You know, I'm still figuring things out. There's a lot I don't understand. I do know it's important to keep fighting. I learned that from you. Oh, but the last episode. Not completely. Never will. That's not why we fight. We do it because we're found near Omaha in 1949. Yeah, they ain't ours. Keep going. Wait. Wait. Those are the same kids. Wait, what? So, Utah, two children. Someone is shit stirring. I suspect found the bodies himself. Two children. Gretchen Strauss, age six. Hans Strauss, eight. So they have names. That's new. Uh, Hansel and Gretel. 
Veteran Hans. I thought I made myself clear. You're not minding me. Mom! I see what you're doing. Your child... This gingerbread house? Of course. It makes sense now. Yeah, it's all falling into place. Of course, that place is nowhere near this place. Some demons thrive by fostering hatred and, and uh, persecution amongst the mortal animals. Not by, not by destroying men, but by watching men destroy each other. Now, they feed us our darkest... Literally, they're having popcorn and... ...peaceful communities into vigilantes. Oh, my God! This is going overboard! It was easy. I told you. It gets even easier. But so I these kids are literally demons. You have to stop them. You have to make them go away. Yep, they're demons. Kids can be little demons, though. Just saying. I came over here to tell Buffy to stop this craziness and found you all unconscious. Again. How many times have you been knocked out, anyway? Thank you! Someone's yeah, actually pointing this out! Up in a coma. Wake up in a... Oh, never mind. <laughs> we need to save Buffy from Hansel and Gretel. Now, let's be clear. The brain damage happened before I hit you. <laughs> You've been such a champ. Oh, you too, Joyce. We should stay close, have lunch. Oh, I'd like that. How nice. This isn't... Well, I'd say this oh, is the time, but... Mom, don't! They are warped. Whoa, 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 whoa. Amy, what the? Oh, she turned herself into a rat. <laughs> Come to us first. Oh, yes. Yeah, I've, yeah. Quickly, quickly, get up! Yes! Hinter falschen Gestichten. Now let's see who's really behind that mask. Ah. Ah. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! She'd surely collapse. Oh, oh! <laughs> Damn it. You guys missed the party. We're here to save you. Goddess of creatures, great and small, I conjure thee to withdraw. She's gonna turn Buffy into a frog. Yeah, she never got turned back. Well, maybe we should get her one of those wheel thingies. <laughs> that was a pretty awesome episode. It wasn't as good as I guess the uh, like I guess the last couple of episodes. It's probably one of the I don't know. I wouldn't say it's the weakest, but it's not in my top three. But it was still pretty awesome. It was not a bad episode by any means. It was actually super super interesting and um, super grim. Is pardon the pun with the Hansel and Gretel thing. I'm sure the that. That comment by Xander when he was with Oz was a pun. I'm not so sure, but um, yeah. Um, but I really enjoyed uh, how much spotlight Joyce got in this episode with her uh, creating this organization and then her being possessed. Um, because, like, you could tell, especially uh, the, the, like, obvious um, hint was her trying to kill her daughter. She it's not Joyce at the end of the day. So, yeah. Um, and this demon ba uh, taking the forms of those children to basically be an agent of chaos was an absolutely interesting uh, idea because children took the heartstrings a lot, a lot. So when we encountered those two bodies at the very beginning and how Joyce reacted, it was really, really powerful because... Um, like I said, I think children's lives do hit the soul more so than any other lives. Like, they're so fragile, and you just can't believe it, and it makes you think, what kind of bastard would do this? Um, someone who, like, even Buffy contemplated it, like, like was contemplating the, the um, hatred of, 
like is 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 a uh, killing humans like uh, who deserve it still like acceptable uh, for a slayer or not because like that's the thing i mean um i will say a personal story as well from this uh, nothing um like to do with children being murdered but um we did an extra life charity live stream and some sick cancerous dickhead decided to ddos um, the extra life site so that mean meant that no donations were able to go through thus making the person who attacked the site uh, prevent children for, from getting the help that they deserved and what was going through my mind during like when extra life confirmed that their site were, was attacked by someone who felt it was so funny to ddos a site was what kind of heartless parasite do you have to be to ddos a children's hospital website where people want to donate for a good cause how void like how like how can you be so removed of humanity to do such a thing there's only two cases where you could uh sit and think this is okay Either you have no humanity in you, or you're a pathetic coward who has no life. Pick a side, there we go. Um, some would say both. Uh, what's the difference between both in this case? But yeah, uh, I'm, I'm digressing. Um, but that's, that's the thing. Like, people do have this thought. Like, who could do such a thing to children? And Joyce even expressed it through her grief. Um, like, how can you do that? Buffy even did as well. So, um yeah and the sole purpose of this demon was to uh divide towns and uh, it was get it was getting so at buffy and with that rally the vi- I, I well I, I guess you could say the virus in this case with the demon being the agent of chaos seeing towns tear each other apart over the death of two kids um Joyce was able to spread this, I get, uh, spread the demon's virus, so others can um, can basically tear apart, um, like can basically tear apart this vigilantism thing because it's kind of like that, isn't it? With um, like um, witches and slayers, they're they're basically vigilantes. They're fighting for the good, even though uh, it's like they're not licensed to do so. So yeah. I think it would be interesting if witches had killed these kids and Willow just ended up being in the wrong group because there would be that theme of be careful who you hang around with, wouldn't it? Um, so, yeah. And I did say Willow was not capable of doing something like that and lo and behold. So, yeah. Um, but, no, I think, uh, like I said, it would also it would also side with vigilantes even further. Like uh, they do, like in superhero shows, they do get a a terrible rep, anyways. Um, and if it was proven, <clears throat> if it was proven it was that cult, then that would be very very interesting. Uh, in conjunction with <clears throat> um, Joyce speaking out to to the people and whatnot so yeah because i think that might be might be a bit of a game changer but yeah um but yeah i really loved how this episode dealt with the idea of how people can react to seeing children murdered something like that i thought that was pretty bold of them to do something like that to be fair um like seeing the corpses of children um even with the demon taking that uh, those forms as well, it's still pretty gnarly to look at because they're still hu- they still look human at the end of the day. So yeah, um, but yeah, I love how Thea literally consumed everyone, uh, basically, to the point where Buffy uh, Buffy's mother was going to kill Buffy. Uh, how she would have lived with that, I don't think she would have been able to do so. But. Um, yeah, it's pretty, pretty sickly that this demon was able to possess them and um, create this idea to to um, shut down, uh, like, witches, slayers, all that jazz. So, yeah. I did like Joyce witnessing and supporting Buffy at the beginning, though. She was such a fan girl, and it was just so weird, but it was so hilarious at the same time. You're like, Joyce, this is a life-threatening situation. You're like, get it, Buffy, get it. Oh boy, Joyce is amazing. Um, but yeah, um, 
it, it it was also great seeing how Sunnydale is finally talking about these like murders as well. Um, like you felt hurt uh, with Buffy throwing uh, with Buffy's mother throwing her under the bus when she was talking about oh this slave business, yeah. But um, it was it's it's great that this is starting to become a bit of a talking point because how many people have died in Sunnydale? So. Uh, yeah, this can't be something to you can you can just bat an eye t- toward. Yeah, l- yeah, it's not something you could just blink and you'll miss it. So yeah, um, but I am glad that this is getting brought up. So um, yeah, we also got to meet Willow's mother, who, to be fair, she could do with a bit of an upgrade. Her mother because she seems to be like the most um, the greatest mother ever. Like. She, Willow is basically invisible to her mother. Like, it's, what, January or whatever? Um, I think it is, because uh, I did say, what is it, like, October or whatever? Uh, but I for- forgot that it was like a Christmas Eve episode last time around. But, um, yeah, it's, like, January, and she now notices the haircut. Jo- boy. Um, but, um, yeah, throughout the episode, you just basically got hints that Willow's mother isn't exactly mother of the year material. So... Um, yeah, but it was great to to uh, open up a bit more of Willow's story in uh, this episode with uh, her mother, even if she was a bit of a bitch. So, yeah. Um, I also loved the idea of Angel confronting uh, Buffy, um, being a bit uh, happier. Like, after all of the shenanigans that went on with Ahmed, it's great to see that Angel is... Um, by Buffy's side and giving her that encouragement because he was the one that needed encouraging as he referenced in this episode. Uh, but also saying that maybe you can't win, but uh, also alluding to the point you can't lose as well. Like Joyce, Joyce mentioned about Buffy reacting to vampires and not being able to put a stop to them completely. <clears throat> and it's so funny. Uh, like when you, when you heard that quote, it was so funny because you just thought of the wish uh, which was only a couple of episodes ago, um, where we saw what life would have been like if Buffy didn't deal with these monsters, these creatures. So, um, yeah, um, Buffy is making the best out of a bad situation. Um, and, yeah, it, it, it it's, it's really, really interesting. I think at that point, someone should have been able, like Cordelia or some. Yeah, Cordelia is your best bet. But, like, if Cordelia was there and she was able to retain that memory from Amends, she could have um, put in a, a huge debate with Joyce saying, well, just just think of what would have happened if Buffy wasn't able to, like, slay all these monsters. It could have been a great debate about, uh, well, not name-dropping Buffy, although she might do clumsily, but... Um, yeah, like, what would happen if these monsters weren't fraught, fraught, uh, fraughted? I can't say it, but, yeah, basically what would have happened there? Yeah. Um, but I- I'm sure I'm not the only one who thought when Joyce said, um, these, like, these monsters have not been totally slain and all that jazz. Uh, like, I'm sure, like, others were thinking, well... It's funny, a couple of episodes ago, we had a t- scenario where Buffy didn't deal with these monsters, and uh, yeah, that turned out great for the human race, didn't it? Um, but yeah, um, I also um, enjoyed a bit of continuity in this ep- episode with, um, of course, like I said, Buffy... Oh, hang on. I think someone's calling me. Um, I'll, um, I'll tend to that in a minute. Um, but yeah... Um, I like the continuity, Buffy and Angel, um, but also uh, Joyce and Giles still a bit coy with each other. Um, Oz and Xander, not on the best of speaking terms. On a point with Xander, though, um, like, him getting completely whiny is just, like, dragging me down. Like, firstly, Buffy didn't accuse him, and he, like, overreacted. And then the second, he's making a big moan about Oz, uh, about being surprised Oz is basically... um, glaring daggers at him because you know a few episodes you literally tried to take his girl from from him so yeah a big surprise there but yeah it was a really really good episode i like the hansel and gretel 
uh, concept and the whole fairy tale uh, being real scenario. I really liked that concept. Um, yeah, I thought that was a very, very genius concept um, to, to utilize, like being able to turn Hansel and Gretel into, like basically that being the inspiration to, to uh, like, well, these um, bodies being found being the inspiration to Hansel and Gretel. So, yeah, uh, just to make the Grimm stories a bit more darker, uh, unless that was the, yeah, whatever. Um, no, uh, it, it is still pretty, pretty dark at the end of the day, but it was a really, really good episode. Um, I'm, I'm, I also like how Cordelia was basically the crowd. Uh, Cordelia and, and Giles, that was a nice and funny, uh, those were nice and funny moments with, um, with their interaction. But, um, I really liked how Cordy called out Giles about how many times he'd been knocked out. Like, thank you. Someone's actually noticed that. But I just love her comment saying, you're going to wake up in a coma. And then Giles was like, never mind. So, yeah. Um, I love Cordelia so freaking much. But, yeah, this was a great episode. Um, maybe not the best of season three, but it was still pretty, pretty fun stuff with some genius concepts being utilized but yeah i will see you guys next time hope you guys enjoyed this reaction you can check my videos on the right if you want to check out more of my content you can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to hope you guys enjoyed this reaction hope you guys take care and i will see you guys next time toodles